The Conservative Party of Canada is calling for an end to the practice of birthright citizenship, or what they're calling birth tourism. So what is birth tourism, and how does it work? Just solely, meaning right of the soil, has been in place since the first Canadian Citizenship Act in 1947. It states that any person born on Canadian soil can get a birth certificate and apply for a Canadian passport right away, granting them automatic citizenship, even if their parents aren't Canadian citizens. The issue arises with what some are referring to as birth tourism, or passport babies, when pregnant non-Canadian women fly to Canada in order to give birth, and thus secure citizenship for their babies. Some people think that it's not fair that whoever just happens to be lucky enough to be born on Canadian soil is necessarily a Canadian citizen. And the issue really uh, becomes particularly rankling when you have people who come over to Canada as tourists or maybe people who are here without status at all uh, who then have babies here and their children are accorded every right and privilege of Canadian citizenship. The child then receives benefits like health care and education, and when they become adults, they can also sponsor their parents to immigrate to Canada. According to Statistics Canada, 313 babies were born to non-Canadian mothers in 2016. That number has gone down significantly since 2012, when 699 babies were born to non-Canadian mothers. Canada and the U.S. are some of the few developed countries that grant automatic citizenship to children born on their soil. Countries like Australia and New Zealand only grant citizenship to babies when at least one parent is a citizen or legal resident. Other countries like India have abolished the law completely. For more on this story, check out globalnews.ca.